Hi, I'm Anna Thames, Vice President of Operations at We Are Esco. As one of our over 1,300 We Are Esco operations employees, I'm honored to share with you a bit about what we do and the journey we're on to pursue operational excellence. Our position as the global market leader in ground engaging tools is underpinned by the combination of our GET designs, our material science, and our proprietary manufacturing processes. These processes are demanding, but produce industry-leading superior GET. Across the division, we operate five foundries, including Portland's Plant 3, where I'm at today. Our facilities produce over 38,000 tons of product each year. Each foundry must produce castings that meet our engineered designs, tightly specified and tolerance fit geometries, and the material properties of our alloys, which are balancing the hardest GET steels with toughness. So we deliver wear parts that perform in some of the Earth's toughest and most abrasive conditions. To produce our GET, we need to have high degree of process control and a highly skilled workforce, employees who train and cross-train in our operations. As John outlined, following the acquisition by Weir, we are on a journey of operational excellence across all of our foundries. Putting that into context for you, our most efficient foundry is on average 10% more predictable than our other foundries. We can measure predictability by heat attainment. Our melt furnaces are the pacemaker for our foundries, and we try to melt batches of metal with a regular cadence. This directly correlates to the cost of running the foundry, the energy used, and the production time. Therefore, by replicating the performance of our most efficient foundry across the network, there's a sizable operational and cost benefit to us. And we're unlocking that opportunity by applying process variation reduction and lean process methodologies. We're also focused on attracting, growing, and retaining talent so that we have the right expertise and level of experience in the workforce supported by technical and frontline leadership training. We're investing in digital tools that allow us to monitor the condition of equipment and key foundry metrics like energy usage. With real-time data, we can address inconsistencies and issues at an earlier stage in the process. And as we progress on our operational excellence journey, we expect to transition the use of our digital tools for predictive applications, which will yield further efficiency and cost benefits. In summary, our foundries are the beating heart of ESCO delivering the products with the features that our customers really value. We've already come a long way on our journey, and I'm confident and excited about the next stage as we continue in our pursuit of operational excellence.